Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto, and I uh, hope you're all doing great <laughs> after after this move as well. Uh, but in this video, we'll talk about Ethereum. Uh, it's kind of like a crash update. I'm calling this a crash. If you don't want to call this a crash, well, okay, but I am. Um, and I really do think it's a crash. I mean, we broke through a number of support levels, starting all the way up at 1500, which was quite strong, was quite strong. Um, and even uh, e even more lately, we we dropped down below 1425, which is a little bit less strong, but it's, it's still relevant. Um, and right now the price is kind of balancing on top of 1400. I should actually delete this uh, key level. Um, you see this level right here. It's it's uh, it's um, it's a it's a strong level, right? It's it's not nothing, definitely. But um, you, for example, have the 618 FIP there of the entire move up, which is really strong. But I just don't think it's. Uh, I just don't know if we can hold that. Uh, but all right, we'll talk about the fundamentals as well. I wanted to start off with that. Uh, before we start off with that, I do want to say that if you want to receive daily trading signals, um, and for example, uh, the trading signal group actually profited off of this move yesterday with a great OP trade. I'm not going to show it, but all right. Uh, check out the links in the uh, pinned comments or the description. There you'll find the instructions on how to join. But now on to Ethereum. Um, yeah, why we dropped? First of all, the first thing that happened is obviously, but that started earlier, like right here, is the economic climate has changed. It seems like inflation is stabilizing and it's too high to be stabilizing. So that's why interest rates probably are going to need to be increased, which was also confirmed in the testimony uh, by Jerome Powell earlier this week. So that's bearish. You could uh, you could also see that with this big spike of the dollar strength index. But the main cause of this crash was crypto specific. Um, Silvergate, Mount Gox, regulation, the SEC, um, all of those things probably caused something like this. And excuse me, I just have to. Yeah, I think this is the right way to draw it like this. Um, but yeah, all of those bearish fundamentals probably caused a move like this. Um, a move like this is usually caused by institutions, wills, big market makers selling. And I also think that that is what happened. Uh, so we're, we're still actually dropping. I mean, the big question, excuse me, I'm a little bit, I have a little bit of a cold, so I have to sneeze. But um, the big question is, is can we hold this level? 1400 is pretty strong, but I doubt that it will be strong enough. Uh, I think it's more likely. I mean, if we take a look at, uh, at, at the price historically, you can see that 1400 is not that strong. Um, we hold it sometimes, but the level that actually holds more often is between 1360 and 1340. I can still remember the times when we actually, um, when right here, we were still talking about, can we get up there? Now we're back, uh, now we're going back there, but then as a support. Um, so that's what I think is going to happen. I mean, today we have the unemployment rate, uh, which will still probably make the market move. Uh, usually, if that's higher than expected, that's uh, bad or that's good for crypto, excuse me, because that, that kind of is an indicator of uh, less inflation. Um, so if that's actually higher than expected, then we can hold 1400 for a little bit longer and perhaps even spike all the way up to like 1450, 1460. Uh, but eventually, I think we're dropping down. I think we're dropping down to that level between 1360 and 1340. And depending on what kind of support we get there initially, uh, I'll, I'll tell you whether I think we're going to drop down even more or that that's it for uh, for a moment. But yeah, that's my take on Ethereum this Friday and for now. So if you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, take care and bye.